Hi everyone, this is um, going to be my uh, makeup basket for the month of May. I um, have everything that I used in the past few months still in there, so I'm going to actually quickly take everything out and um, then see what I want to keep and what I want to continue using, or what I want to move out and all that. here my uh, sharp my pencil sharpener and my brushes because my brushes so far I just washed them so there's no point in me washing them again this weekend so for starters um what will I definitely continue using I know I will continue to use my my um, eye, eyeshadow primer combination the elf eyeshadow primer and the urban decay 24 7 uh, not 24 7 the um, eyeshadow primer potion just because I can. So I'll move that back in. I also know that I will not stop using my Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift Eye Cream. And the same goes for my Cutrees Liquid Camouflage in the shade Porcelain 010. Um, just because I know I can rely on this. I want to use up my Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Primer, but then again, honestly, I want to try the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Zero Slash Primer. Um, I'm just going to stick with that one, to be honest. Let me just do that. So, this is it. I'm going to actually put this one in for the time being, and we'll see how that one works. For my eyebrows, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to leave my Anastasia Beverly Hills Super Pomade in the shade Blonde in here, as well as my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Caramel. However, I would like to try an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Waste in the shade Hope. So I'll move this one in right away and hopefully I can get a good combination of products that way. I will leave my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray in here because I am trying to work on with this a bit more simply because I've had it for quite a while and um, why not leave it in that way. Um, let me think. Mascaras I'm not going to rotate out so I'll continue using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara until it's all dried up, which it's getting there. And also my Blink Mascara Amplified, which is a tubing mascara. This one I also like quite a bit, so why not continue using it? I will also leave it, um, or put in the Marina T Love, Love Marie Lip Gloss in the shade a Tickled, I believe. Was it Tickled? Yes, tickled. Um, this is a nice pinky nude shade and I just want to try and see how I like it to make up my mind about this one. Let me actually get rid of that one the packaging. And I think, honestly, that might have been it. No, there's one more. I will also leave in the Sun Integrity Tinted um, Sunscreen. I just want to try it and I want to see how I like it and what I think about it, so I'll leave it in there. Now, what all do I need? I need a foundation. Um, I'll be working with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow a bit more because I want to work on this a little bit more. And also I want to figure out how much I like it, especially now that it gets warmer again. The Urban Decay Afterglow blush in the shade Indecent. Indecent is this nice corally but very light shade. And um, I just want to try this and see how I like it. 
And then I'm going to go with the Tarte blush in the shade Essential. This was part of their nude blushes, which I can never get out of their packaging. I hate this. I hate their packaging. So. So, this is it. This is very nude, but I think it'll be very, very pretty. And um, I can't wait to play with it. For highlighter, I'm going to go back and play with my Wet n Wild Color Icon Reserve Your Cabana Bronzer because this is just pretty. It's very neutral and natural and there's not too much going on so I think this works with pretty much everything. And for a bronzer... You know what, I'm going to put in a second highlight actually. I'm going to put in my Tarte Melanie Clay highlighter in the shade Stunner. Mostly because I can and because this I think is stunning and nothing like any of the highlights I have so far. I need a better setup, honestly, this is just not, not doing it for me. But, um... Why not do this now while we're at it? <laughs> and just see what's going on. Then, um, that's two highlighters. Do I want another one? Mm. No, I think I'm good. Okay, four eyes. What do I want? And for lips. Um, I'm going to throw in my Ulta eyeshadow eye crayons in black plum. Hello, focus. I'm going to throw in my Ulta eye crayons in black plum up here and devil's foot down here because I know they are they will be fun and easy to use and it will be easy for me to just go ahead and try them out that way. And I will also throw in my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Deep Burgundy. In part because I can and also because I want to try it out. So there is that. Just to be on the safe side, I'll also throw in my Ulta Cream Eyeshadow in Smoky Quartz. I do want to try this, obviously, so I'll do it though. Then... I'm going to throw this one into my purse, actually the Catrice Beautifying Lip Smoother in the shade Apricot Cream because I, I need to use this one up, so in my purse it goes. For my eye, well, for my waterline I will throw in the NYX Water Pencil in the shade Light because I think I need to give this some more love and just see how long it lasts actually. Four eyeliners. I feel like I want some colors, but I also want a more neutral shade. Um, I have the deep burgundy one from Stila in there. I'll probably need the black one in because I've been working on that and I've been doing a good job so far. This is just the one in the shade zero. Um, I want to see if I can maybe Hi, get some more dent into that one. I feel like I want a color. What color do I want? What eyeshadows do I want? I'm going to go with this um, Catrice Cold Cajal in the shade Chalk Waves. I want to see if I like this. If not, I will just declutter this. I have mentioned before this is not super pigmented. I just have to put quite some pressure on that. So I want to see how I like this.
and we go from there. That's still not color, however. Um, I'm wondering about this guy right here, this Physicians Formula um, Shimmer Strips um, uh, Custom Eye Enhancing Extreme Eye Shimmer Eyeliner Trio for Blue Eyes. So the blue one I have worn like once and that's it. So it's not super intense, but it's nice and let me just give it a try, why not? Let me put this one here. And then should I feel bored? <laughs> I'll try this um, Kiko, what's it called? Mystery Smoky Eye Pencil. I mean, this is not really a smoky line. This is where it is. Oh, this is... For this, I have to really press up. That's less of pressure. Okay, we'll just try it. And, um... Let me also put in this other Kiko Double Glam Eyeliner. This is their purple. That's the wrong one. And this is their tealish shade. For lip products, I have this entire bag here, um, which contains all my lip products. And um, let me just figure out what I want. I think I have that lip gloss in there, so I'm gonna go with this Alta lip crayon in the uh, shade O. I know my floor. Yeah, my floor is pretty camera. I know. There you go. And um, that is it. It's very neutral, but I think it will be fun to use. I already have my gloss in here. Let me throw in my P2 Perfect Look lip liner in the shade Tangerine. That's also pretty. So, we've got this. If I feel like it, I'm going to try the Ultra Butter Bomb in the shade out, Thumbelina. That's it at the bottom right there. It is more of a pink shade, but I just want to try it. My Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick right here. This is in the shade Nudist Peach. And I think I'm just going to go with this one. This is a very nice neutral shade right there. I think this will be fun. And I'll add to this with uh, my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in the shade Hot Shot. And let me give you a swatch of that. There you go. It's one of their minty ones that is supposed to be like lip plumping. But I don't care. I just want to try this out. I think this way I have a nice selection. And if I feel like it, I can always throw in something else. So there is that. Let me remove my swatches real quick. And we're going to go to the last area that I have not really worked on yet. And this would be my eyeshadows. I have no eyeshadows in here. I'm going to add in my... Um, Melt Love Sick Stack. I know that for sure. I have barely played with this. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shades. I don't want to play with it. So I'm going to go with that. So there is one. I think I might want to um, get another container actually for my eyeshadow just because this is getting a bit full and I don't want anything to break. So there's that. <laughs> And then I'm going to throw in my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette because this is just easy to use and um, it will give me so many things to play with. I'm going to go with that. But 
I think I also want some warm colors. Let me think. So. Debating between my eight cosmetics naturally pretty. My Ulta and Jenny Fox Miss Fabulous palette. Mm. What about my sweet peach? Or my sweet peach. Those are very similar to be honest. <clears throat> so um What do I want to go with? Um <clears throat> I might just throw a picture on Instagram and have you all decide and um, tell me which one you prefer that way um, I get some input I don't know I think they're fairly similar but I don't know what I want and um, I feel like when I'm ready, I'm ready. okay Bitte. Gerne. so um, I'll throw a picture on Instagram and let you all decide um, as to which one um, you think I should be using for the month of May. I want to get some more use out of it and um, I think they are all pretty easy to work with. So why not go with um, what you say? So I have these right there. And uh, get a little smaller. And on top of that, I will also throw in my little elf quad in the shade Butternut because these shades are just gorgeous and why not? So, this is it for my um, makeup basket for the month of May. It's the first one in ages. I am trying to figure out how I to film those videos. Especially because I don't really have a good setup for my makeup collection yet. So I will have to work on that at the same time work on my way on how I want to film those videos. But I think for the time being this is quite nice. This is my makeup bag, my makeup basket for the month. And um, as you can see, it's pretty full, but I think I'll have a lot of fun using everything. And um, please let me know how you like this video, what you think I should improve. I know the lighting is not ideal. I did not want to go out on the porch because it's just too, um, too warm and humid out there. Plus, I started filming when the lighting was okay and then it got dark and I hadn't brought my lights in. So um, from now on I think the lighting will be better again because I know that I need to bring in the lights even when I'm inside because it got dark faster than I thought it would and yeah, I need to change that. But all in all, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any um, constructive criticism or any ideas on how I can make this better again. Um, like I said, I feel super rusty when it comes to makeup basket videos, but I hope you can help me out there. I hope you will have a great week and I will see you guys soon. Bye!